Hello everybody, I am Hereticos. Welcome back to episode 6, Mirror Matchup. Uh, new game plus of Yu-Gi-Oh! Caps and Monsters Coliseum. I've edited the deck. It took like a good 20 minutes of setup. Uh, just because I can't find anything on wikis or anything about the deck setup itself. So I actually had to do it manually. So that was between going through files and actually watching a uh, video. <laughs> so, if you want, if you want to get your crappy little hands and enjoy your title, how cute! And we'll mirror match to the best of them. Damn, now there's no way to confirm. So there is a few capsules in some of these fights we don't have. Surprisingly. Um, so we'll take his side just so I can kind of place things that I remember. So he runs a Pettit Moth. He runs Shuffle Crusher. He runs Papa Roach. He runs this. And then I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm definitely missing one. Um Shovel Crusher. Oh, the root water. There we go. So simple. And then we'll go... with the Shovel Crusher down low. The Papa Roach up top. Followed by his guard. With the Root Water to Salt. Shovel Crusher, and then the Moth to assist. So then if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I should say, he should summon five as well. Three green, a lightning, and a blue. Yeah. So we're all set. Also, if by chance I use a creature I'm not supposed to, I won't summon it at all. I'll just let it sit there and only use the creatures I have. Pop a roach, and then the larva. So we'll kind of mirror him to a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. The only difference is we get to summon everything. Although I think the root water of the shovel crusher was supposed to be switched, but eh. makes a lot of bug buns. It's starting to bug me a little bit, like a pest. <laughs> uh, okay. Gotta open up a nice can of tea before we bust a can of whoop ass. Also, if by chance we can evolve, uh, we will evolve. Because, in theory, we, we used the original creature. And that pertains to the Petamoth. Because as long as we start with the creatures, if it can evolve, it's gonna evolve. Like the Ryu Keshin, when we use that against Merrick. If it can evolve at its level 4 or 5 in that combat, I'm going to evolve it. 
especially at the end. Like right now, this is this is like the best time to do it. And yes, I know it's not really traditional to be like, oh, well, now it's not the same. I mean, if it evolves from at the same time, then yes, yes, it is. But I know it's not 100% pure. It's like 90% pure because I'm only using the core of the monster. But give me a break. I'm doing everything here. I'm doing the play in the game. I thought I saw somewhere it was a plus. Also, I'm hoping root water can evolve soon, but it's nowhere near it. At least now we have like a creature HP advantage. Alright, that's one creature destroyed. If we KO. No. Okay. So nothing comes of that, so that's a safe move. This is a safe move. And then we'll move this, because that's a safe move. Then we get our KO. Pretty productive. So, here comes. I'm gonna explain our issues early on in the episodes, and then I'll re-explain them in that episode. So we battle Mai. We don't have. What do you mean? The fuck a battlefield just evolved, man. Chill out. But anyway, the um, when we battle Mai, we don't have the Bakuganet. And we don't have a second Harpy Lady anymore. Because last playthrough we got the sisters. So we ha we are out two creatures. Luckily we have a member of the Bird Brigade. So it should be okay. And we do still have a Harpy left. So we should be pretty good. Ninety-nine and ninety-eight. So that's pretty good. And then because nobody else can, this one will move over. And he'll poke you. And then because you can't do anything else, we'll move you down. And you can poke this. And then... We'll just attack from here. And then we'll have to make the decision now. What's more likely to be a pain in the ass? I would assume this, just because I know its stats are slightly higher. And then the moth and the serpent should be taken out next turn. And I don't think we lose any pieces next turn either. Unless, for some reason, they all attack the fucking Papa Roach, which it doesn't look like they are. Shit, it doesn't matter. That's powerful. Wow, okay, so we do lose a creature. We guarantee lose one. Wow, our shit gets two shot. We have to three shot them. That's insane. Damn, we just got one of those.
that is fucking insane. So we should still be able to wipe out two creatures this turn. Yep. Like, easily. Maybe not. I mean, not the creatures we thought we were going to wipe out, but we do still wipe out two creatures. Nothing else has been damaged, so no matter what he does, we should be alright. So I'd say pretty successful, minus the one KO. Because I don't think anything else uses a petted moth. No, no, no one else uses a petted moth. No, no one else uses a petted moth. I just, I have to keep reminding myself what they're using. Because right now in my head, I'm not commentating. I'm just thinking of the creatures I have to use. And after stage two, it all gets fucking fuzzy. Let me tell you straight up, it gets fuzzy. Alright, time to finish this. I should probably compose a list in advance just so I know what I'm dealing with for the other three areas. But doing it just before the episode helps me more now just because it helps me prep for the episode so I know what I'm thinking about. Um, I know when we get to like area three, I'm going to start writing them down. Like area three and four I'll have written out. And then, because if I do all the work now for so let me explain it this way. If I do all the work now for the other three areas, I'm going to end up just going to bed after this episode. <laughs> but if I do it where... I just memorize each area. I might do, like, consecutive recordings. Like, right now, I've started recording since episode one. And we're seven episodes in when I end this one. So. And I'll finish the other four for this area, and then probably go to bed. But alright, everybody. I am Hereticos. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future episodes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. And peace. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.